2099. Shadows of Satoshi. Chapter 3. Echoes of Rebellion. In the steel heart of new Neo City, where the corporate towers pierced the sky like spears of ambition, the rebellion's first note was struck. The team, once shadows in the underground, emerged as wraiths of defiance, each playing their part in a symphony of distraction and chaos. Phoenix's fingers flew across her console with the precision of a maestro, orchestrating a series of cyber attacks that lit up the net like firecrackers. False alarms blared across security systems, doors locked and unlocked in rapid succession, and surveillance feeds flickered with static. Her decoys were a masterpiece of misdirection, digital mirages that sent corporate security scrambling to snuff out fires that didn't exist. Meanwhile, Sphinx deployed their expertise in a different manner. They slipped through the city's arteries, a silent enigma, planting devices that whispered sweet nothings into the ears of every smart device they passed. Traffic lights flirted with chaos, autonomous vehicles hesitated like nervous suitors, and drones swirled in bewildered patterns. Sphinx's touch left a trail of benign anarchy, a carnival of the mundane turned on its head. Wraith was the ghost in the machine, their digital visage an echo in the vast networks. They infiltrated the data streams a specter sifting through the ones and zeros, planting seeds of doubt within the algorithms that ruled the city. Their code was poetry, a digital haiku that spoke of freedom and the fallibility of the systems that sought to contain it. Above them all, Shadow watched, the architect of their descent. He had set the stage for this dance of disruption, his knowledge of the city's skeleton key to their ploys. As his crew wove their web of diversions, he prepared for the true objective, a prize beyond value the heart of the blockchain repository. As the corporate forces descended into confusion, the team converged on the repository's location. The building was a monolith of steel and glass, the physical shell of the digital leviathan they sought to slay. Shadow led the charge, his mask a beacon in the night, as they breached the perimeter. Inside, the chaos of the outside world was mirrored by the pandemonium of security protocols in disarray. Phoenix and Sphinx worked in tandem, one guarding their digital flank while the other dismantled the physical barriers with silent grace. Wraith, ever the enigmatic force, prowled the data corridors, ensuring their operations left no trace in the system's memory. The high-tech heist unfolded with the tension of a wire pulled taut, every second a gamble against time and technology. Their movements were a dance, each step calculated, each gesture imbued with purpose. They moved as phantoms through the repository, unseen, unheard, but felt by the very air that carried the electric charge of their mission. Finally, they stood before the core, the sanctum of the digital dominion they sought to liberate. Phoenix's hands were steady as she interfaced with the core, her mind racing through the virtual labyrinth. Sphinx guarded the door, a sentinel whose very presence was a riddle to any who approached. Wraith enveloped the core in a protective shroud of code, an echo chamber that would turn any intrusion upon itself. As Phoenix breached the final layer of security, a hush fell over the team. They were in, the heart of the beast laid bare before them. Here, they would plant the seeds of rebellion, a virus that would dismantle the chains of control, link by link. The echoes of their rebellion would resonate through the city, a clarion call to those who yearned for the freedom of the old world. This was but the first move in a grander game, a gambit that would determine the fate of their cause. And as they made their escape, slipping back into the shadows from whence they came, the team knew that their actions this night would be the spark that would ignite the fires of revolution.